What's going on everyone? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video of mine. I received a lot of amazing support on my last video, so I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. In today's video, I'm going to show you a really cool plugin from Digital Products 669. Link is in the description if you want to, of course, try out this pack for yourself. It's really cool because you get over 205 or over 200 transitions for Final Cut Pro 10. And the best part about this plugin is that there's a variety of transitions. So you have transitions from like brushes to camera pans. Uh, link in the description, leave a like if you guys like this video and let's jump right into it. All right, so in order for this to work, you would have to, of course, purchase and download the plugin. And once you extract the zip file, it's going to be in this folder right here. Let me show you right here, the ultimate transitions pack. If you open this, once you are there, you want to go to the ultimate transitions pack. Just copy this. If you open it, you're going to see all of the type of transitions. There's over 200, which is amazing, especially for the price. So I'm going to select it, press command C, then go to the top right over here, um, over up here, go to go, go to home over here into the movies folder, open that one up go into the motions templates folder, open that one, and you should have an effects folder, a transitions folder, as well as maybe titles if you have it. If you have motion installed, you will for sure have these folders. However, if you don't have them easily created, if you don't have a motions template folder, make a folder titled like this exactly. Right click on this and go to uh, get info. And then over in a new window, you're going to have the name and extension. You're going to have motion templates at dot localized exactly like this. And then you can open this folder. If you don't have the transitions folder, make sure you name it exactly like that. Right click, go to get info. Then you want to go over to the name and extension. Make sure you have transitions dot localized. The dot localized has to be there or it won't work. If this doesn't work, I will leave two tutorials down in the description that I made. Uh, where I show you how to two different ways of installing plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. So uh, once you have the transitions folder created, then you want to I already have this pasted in there, but you would press command V or go to edit and paste item. And this will paste the folder in there. You can rename this if you want. If the title is too long, you can do that, whatever. Now, if you have Final Cut Pro 10 while you're doing this, quit Final Cut Pro 10 and reopen this and you should have the transitions installed. So let's jump back into Final Cut Pro 10. All right, so I'm going to go fairly quickly with this tutorial. I don't wanna to take too much of your time, especially out of your day. All you have to do to access the transitions folder is click on this little button right here, which will take you to the transitions, open this, and then now you can see the ultimate transitions pack. You can also make this a little longer. If we go to the very top, you're gonna to have the brush. So if I click and drag this in between a clip and I push play, it's going to look like this. Really cool. If it's too long, simply go to the edge here and click and drag to make this shorter. Now, if I go back and I push play, it's going to look like this. Uh, number seven, and I'm going to make this shorter. If I click on the transition, you will have in the properties right over here in the inspector window, and you can do either reverse if you wanted to reverse it. You can do something like that. You can be really creative with this too. You can flip this horizontally. You can flip it vertically. That's for this specific transition. And over here, so if I push play, it's gonna look like that, which looks really cool. Now, if I go over here, you're gonna have directions. You can do diagonal zero, uh, you can do diagonal four, diagonal three, play. So we can do simple. If I drag this right over here and let's do the beginning one, push play. You're gonna have something like that. Again, if you select it, you can change the direction. You can do left something like that, or you can do right. You can also have it go down or even diagonally. So I can do diagonal one and it looks like that. So that is only for, well, that's for this specific transition called camera. If you go down, you're gonna have a separate category, which is going to be comic. So you have comic transition. So we have comic one. This one's really cool. I love this if you're trying to go for like a, a funny little skit or something. So if I push play, you're gonna have something like this. It's better to leave the actual length in there. So it's better to have your clips be a little bit longer than the ones I have here. If I were to delete this and maybe add it to the end here, and I make this slightly shorter, I can change what it says. So maybe I don't want it to say wham. All you gotta do is click on the inspector window and you can change all of the properties for this specific transition. So you can enable the tint color. You can change the bar width scroll through here change the width here like don't forget to leave a like 
let's say it's out of the out of the box just change the bar width right over here and now you can do something like this so it fits within this box here which is really neat you can also change the tint as well i'm going to leave it how it is you can also change the font style so the font itself so you can do comic script that's why it's good to have the font installed so it, everything just works uh, nicely so you can change the size of this text i'm going to kind of skim through and change it for this one wham i'm going to do like hawaii looks like that you can also change the font and so on and you can change the uh, weights so i'm going to delete that one fire this is one of my favorites so if i drag this over here so now if i go back and i push play you got this super cool fire transition which is really neat i, I really hope there's a another pack with this one because I love this one. So if I drag this one over here. Also, once you add a fire transition, and this goes, of course, for all of the other transitions, each transition will be a little bit specific and unique to its own. If I were to push play, you're going to see that it goes from, uh, looks like it's going up, and I just simply clicked and dragged this in between these two clips. Now, if I go into the direction, you can change this from like right to left. So if I were to go back and push play, it'll look like this. And the cool thing about this is you can change the color of the fire. So if you go over to fire color, you can click and drag. You can also click on the wheel and change this. So you can go from like a purple color and you would of course let it this render out. Just go to modify and render selection. And it looks like this, super, super cool. And again, you can customize this. Every transition has a area where you can change this. So you can enable a blur or not. You can change the hue. So if I push play, you can do something like that. So you have a lot of glitch transitions here. So we have alien, super neat. This would work very well for like a, maybe a music video will look the best with this one. So you have a whole bunch of transitions. I, I simply cannot go through all of them. I hope you guys found this very simple and straightforward tutorial um, or overview, then please leave a like. This video is sponsored by Digital Products 669. So big thanks to him for sponsoring today's video.